You want some good reasons to stop watching the news? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a little bit of an editorial slash social observation video today on our vlog. Um, it's about the news. The news, as uh, Steve Carell uh, famously made everybody laugh. Last time we watched the news regularly, it was probably well over a decade ago. Um, and since then, we've pretty much uh, tuned out. Uh, we don't watch the news at 7 o'clock or what are cable news or any, any kind of primetime news channel. And uh, while we don't not keep a pulse on what's going on in the world, because we think that's important to know sort of what what's going on and not every little nitty gritty detail. Um, we, we pretty much uh, focus on our lives and uh, the things we do uh, for our, ourselves and our family. But why should you stop watching the news is uh, what I'm trying to get at here. For one, I think for you to truly understand what we're talking about here, you got to take like a significant amount of time off from the news to really understand. I, mean, we, I could tell you all day long that it's no good and it's unhealthy and it's sickening, but until you actually just stop watching it for years, preferably, and then come back and see what you, what's going on and what you've missed, you'll realize that you made the right choice. Pick a, a couple channels and then watch them. You're like, holy crap, I'm glad I'm not watching this anymore. But do you know what happens when you, you unplug from this nonsense, you become really like clear-minded on, on why the whole entire like structure is just nonsense. Um, you get, first of all, when you see these talking heads on these uh, TV shows, you, they, they have this like, like aura of, of importance, like they're important people. Oh, well, here I am. Like when I talk to you guys on my videos, I'm just speaking like a human being. They never really speak to you like a human being. They, they look like forced actors, you know, I, I don't know. And the whole entire production quality of these news programs feels extremely like produced, like a Hollywood production. They got soundtracks, they got graphics, they got all sorts of dramatic uh, uh, dun, 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 breaking news. Oh, it's like, it's like a game to mess with your, your brain. And of course, the subject matter is always um, bad news, tragedy, and scandals, and drama, and despair. It, it's, it, it's a psychological, like, like chosen subject matter. Um, and how they, I guess other people like, like watching the suffering of others. That's, I don't know. It's, that's why like, people love uh, game shows where there's losers or you get fired from the from the show ha ha you know it's like it's nonsense and of course all these news programs always mention some sort of authority like the government and police and all these uh, important people celebrities you know there's some sort of a s authority involved but you know, without getting really into the, the historical details and, and the psychological details about, about the whole news thing, but it, it's, it's really basically designed to screw you. And, and the same can be said for a lot of um, like YouTube channels, for instance. So they're, they're, they're popular and you, first of all, you wonder why, and then, then they, they're promoting some sort of nonsense usually. But all these programs, they, they are designed to shape who you are and how your mind works, not to think clearly and question things. They don't really, and if they do let you make a decision, it's two limited choices, you know. Um, and then, you know, they also I mean, do, do that from a, from a very, like, obvious way. Oh, fear, like famine, war, like uh, viruses, all this other stuff. Um, and then they do other things in a very subtle way that you can't quite put your finger on over time. And it happens sometimes over generations, whether it's gender things or, or whatever. I mean, there's many varying uh, forms of changing public perception. And while we're at it, it's not like, oh, I'm going to go into the conspiracy theory camp and like think they're all out to get us because that's a whole nother um, like kind of subject that maybe one day we'll get into but 
And most of those conspiracy things are also controlled by other people and designed to you know, nudge you into a different corner, like the other corner. But they're both controlled by people who benefit from, from your belief. And then, you know, hey, you, know, you got to buy these survival kits. They last 20 years. And my, my best advice is to um, avoid it all and just focus on your family first. Always family first. And if you don't have that privilege, um, you may want to just find some, some trustworthy friends and, and slowly build up a network of trust worthy people but the the whole news racket you know print and online and and on tv is something that most people uh, would be much better off if they did without so click the like hit subscribe and i'll see you next video